Hi everyone. Every time that we start a new game, the first thought that we have is what do we need to do? So, today I will give you a list of what you should focus on as a beginner and a free player of State of Survival. Firstly, and the most important thing, is to upgrade your headquarters as fast as you can because the headquarters is your requirement to upgrade other builds like hero princity, troop training buildings, hospital and so on. So make sure that uh, your first and biggest priority is to upgrade your headquarters. Plus, upgrading your headquarters does many things is not uh, just a requirement for other things. Upgrading your headquarters improves the march capacity, the size of your military you can send out to do a mission. Upgrading your headquarters allows you upgrading trainers' buildings, which allow you to train troops faster, upgrade your hospital, which allows you to keep uh, your troops from being permanently killed in battle. Upgrade your warehouse, which allows you to protect your resource. And upgrade your hero's princity, which allows you to improve your hero ranking. The second priority is to do your resource. Resource is where some of stats of your account uh, come from. Stats measure how strong you are. The stats only require times and resource to obtain, so they are perfect for us. Resource also helps improve our account uh, faster, so don't skip this resource in the beginning. You want to, to always be resourcing something. Check your account often in the beginning to keep starting new resource often. Focus on your development and economic resource first. This help you build resource and gather resource faster. The next tip I have for you is to use your fragments and experience books to get one hero in each type to level 18 general rank because in the hero princity you will have the hero training area and there you can place other heroes to get the max level from your three heroes that uh, we are upgrading the easier heroes for you to obtain to upgrade in the beginning are shards to hunter Ghost to Rider and Hosting to Infantry. You can get fragments from Hinto, Fields and the Explorer Trail for these three heroes. My fourth piece of advice is get the VIP at least with the level 7. Size level 7 gives you one gold fragment per day. And the fourth player it is a good way to get gold fragments, which we will save until much later. You can obtain VIP from daily longings, alliance shop, gift codes, market stall, and by using VO caps. Coming in at number 5 in my tips is that you do continue doing the story chapters the growth mission and resource stats locate in the tab tabs of your daily mission. When you finish the story mode of the game, you will receive uh, nice rewards for you to use in completing other stats I mentioned in this video, like upgrading your headquarters and heroes. Completing the growth mission will give you resource and chief experience. This will make you stronger 
and able to keep progressing your settlement at a good pace. The resource tasks, when you complete them, will allow you to reduce the time it takes for you to complete your resource. My next advice is upgrade your shift experience. And why? Because it will unlock your three talent and uh, it is a huge step. For example, for us, fit player, it's good if uh, we get uh, the max tree on economy. Because that will reduce the time to upgrade the settlement and the time to do the resource. So, the higher our shift is, the faster we can build and complete resource. And the easiest way to get shift experience is completing the group mission, marker stall, and black zone. My last advice uh, is that you always do your daily mission every day. Even if you can't do some events or if you are busy, you should never skip the dailies. They are your caps, speed ups, resource, VIP, heroes books, shift experience, and eventually even plasma in your dailies mission. So make sure that you do your dailies every day. As a bonus advice, and not the most important at the beginning, but more important in the long term of the game. Keep in mind to upgrade your hero's gears. For that, you need to do tramp and res register every week for shutdown. So don't skip either of these events in the beginning, since it is the free way to make your heroes stronger. And that is my list of uh, what you should focus on as a new free player. Let me know in the comments uh, section below what you would do differently or think I should add to my list. Bye!